Okay, 9 o'clock Saturday morning in the kingdom. Yes, in the kingdom. Oh, I don't know if the mic is correct. Can we see it? There we go. All right, I'm trying the third mic here with a different connector. All right, as you can see, the yard light's on at 9 o'clock in the morning. As you can tell, we have solid rain. Yes, better known as snow. See it? And it's warm out here. No Grinch gloves. All right. Okay, this morning we woke up to minus 2 Celsius, but feels like minus 6. It's warm out here. The house is warm. The shop is warm. The whole shack is warm. So this is our last warm day, so we have to get things done outside. On the OYO scale, plus 28 Fahrenheit, but feels like plus 21. Ooh, that's confusing for me. All right, so today we're going to clean up the yard. Yes, clean up the yard. We got the battery being charged in the whole shack. Oh, over there. Yeah, over there. So we can start the famous black cat to move the sleighs and stuff. We got to clean up in front of the shop here. Put some tin away. Get the loader out. Get the forks out. Because it's warm. Yes, it's warm and snowing. So we got to tidy up the yard. So when we open the shop doors, the stuff isn't in the way. Right? It's pretty smart thinking. We're not going to wait till it's 40 below and then try and do it. Oh, yesterday's meal was so delicious. And I relaxed and enjoyed the evening watching YouTube videos. Yes, YouTube. That's how we learn. Yes. All right. So we did a full uh, rotate. Not quite a rotation. But look at the snow. I untangled the flags. They were pretty tangled up for the, from the wind the last couple of days. That must be so emotional on them. All right. Just look at that. And the yard light's still on. I don't know, maybe it's broken. As you can see, we have no sun, but we're gonna get things done today, get organized, because we made one big mess in the last couple of days. But oh well, a couple of days, more like a month. Yes, but we got it done. Yes, so now we can get on to the projects. First, we gotta get the doors open. I don't know if you can see it, but we got the black cat, the famous black cat plugged in. All right, I better go. Here comes the boss. Okay, I just untangled the flags and went in the shop to get the me phone because the me phone was having dramatic issues this morning or whatever. So now I can film. So we're going to move the sleigh here. We got the loader out. We've been running around. And yes, we moved the wood that we've moved all summer. We went and hid it in the snowbank till next summer. So it'll give us something to do. So let's get this stuff moved around so we can work on the doors maybe tomorrow. Ooh, it's ground a little rough because we need everything out of the way so we can actually open them when we put the hinges on. Just a minor detail, eh? Saturday morning in Whoville, and as you can see, it is snowing. I knew it would snow because it was way too warm yesterday. Look at that. It was snowing a lot heavier earlier this morning, but it kind of toned down a little bit. You can see from the road here, now it's time to head inside and let the dogs out, make breakfast, and then this afternoon we're going to go work in the kingdom and do a couple things because of the snow. 1 o'clock, I'm getting ready to head on over to the kingdom. I gotta take the toboggan with me since I have to fill up some jerry cans so we can do some stuff around the yard today. I'm not sure what else we're gonna do. I'm pretty sure it's just a cleanup kind of day since there is snow coming, so let's head on over. A little after 1 p.m. and I just got to the kingdom. Now it's time to head back into Whoville and go fill some jerry cans. My dad even has the loader out moving stuff around. Just got back from filling all the jerry cans and I put them where they need to be. The hoe and the loader both need some. We got the cat and the welders that also need. And then this one here is going to go into the Yamaha. We're going to go get that started as well. For the four jerry cans, it was actually four and a half. Plus I filled up the skidoo. The gas was $138 for 87 liters and the diesel was $98 for 51 liters. But I think they ran out of diesel because it cut out on me. Now I am over in the skidoo and quad shed here. I'm going to try and get the Yamaha started. I have to take the spark plugs off and put a little bit of gas down them and then she should fire right up. So let's do that while my dad's moving some stuff around. Yamaha even has its own little toolkit. This stays on the skidoo no matter what. The only time I actually take it off is if I'm out shopping or doing something like that. That way it doesn't get stolen, but it does have everything you need in here. There's even an extra little pulley rope in there too in case it goes. 
just finished putting some gas down the spark plugs here. This will just give it a little extra boost and it'll start it right up, hopefully. This is how we've always gotten this thing started and it won't start any other way. And she's alive! Look at that! Good old yammy! First couple pulls and it started up no problem. It normally likes to sit with the choke half on, but since it's nice and warm today, I don't actually have to have the choke on. So now we'll take it out for a little drive around and just to warm her up. Then this can be parked so my dad can use it. Just brought the Yamaha out for a little test run here. As you can see, it's trying to stay started. It just has to get warmed up a little bit. That's the watering hole down there. And then this way takes you off to the muskeg. And then the kingdom is behind me. I've had this skidoo since I was born. It is actually older than I am. And I've been driving it my whole life, so that's pretty cool. It didn't take very long to get it started this time. Most years, it's a pain, but I'm glad it was working with us this year. And it actually wanted to run. As I say that, it might actually die on me, and then I'll have to walk up to the kingdom and get my dad to come rescue me. The seat's a little taped up, but that's okay. Back in the day, I'm pretty sure this is the one that got ripped up by a bear, so we just taped it back together, and it looks good as new. Just wanted to get a little video of the Yamaha beside the Polaris before I put the skidoo away. We don't really need the Yamaha right now, we just wanted to get it out and start it and do a little test run with it. That way we know if there's any problems. I'm surprised it even started, but it is pretty warm out here. Now we'll go put the Yami away. Also for the ones that will be asking why there's a scarf on here, the little uh air vent is up on the bottom here so when the snow goes in it goes down into the engine and then it stalls it out and freezes it up so the only solution we could think of was to put a scarf on it so this skidoo has this scarf on it for I'm not even sure how many years it's been on there and I'm sure it'll stay on there forever little back view of the two skidoos here look at that you can obviously tell that mine is a long track and then this is a short little one it doesn't do very good in the deep snow but it does have reverse on it and it also has neutral if you can actually get it into there you got reverse and then if you go in between here somewhere there's a nice little sweet spot where it stays in neutral so we can tow up behind the cats and everything else when we need it or if i have to jump on one of the machines this can go behind everything and be towed along just got the Yamaha put away. It will sit here right at the front of the door where we need it instead of all the way at the front. I just barely made it out of the shed here because the quad's up against it as well. I would have had to put the battery on the quad just to move it over a little bit. So let's head down to the shop and see what my dad's up to. My dad just got the famous black cat started and hooked up to the welding plate here. He's going to take it down to the back of the yard to turn it around and it's going to go in the lineup beside the caboose. And of course the flags of exercise are all tangled up. It's not going to be a good flag day for video, but that's okay. We spend more time untangling the flags than anything. The only one not tangled up is the very far end one. Wow.
my dad is done with the famous black cat, we're just going to leave the welding sleigh hooked up because we have to go down to the rabbit tower and do some welding on that. Plus we have to weld up on top of the attachment here and a few other things. Now my dad's on the loader moving some more stuff around. He's going to bring up some more wood totes. He's actually putting that table over beside the van trailer there. And then once he's done with that, he's going to take the water tank here and put it over beside it as well, kind of where this loader's sitting. That way when we have to haul water for the kingdom, it's just right there and we don't have to dig it out. Now I'm in behind the house here, my dad's just moving a couple pallets around and putting things back over beside the water trailer, then he'll come up here and grab these two bins here with all the wood in them and take them down to the shop. Looks like my dad is taking the crappy stuff as he says. This is the good pile over here, so we're going to wait on that and get rid of this stuff first because if you look on the sides here, they could fall over at any time. This is also some of the stuff from my house in Whoville when we tore down my garage. Not sure if you can see it there, but we got a couple white pieces and there is some shingles and other stuff there. I do not miss my garage at all. After coffee and I just finished up in the kingdom, my phone actually died so I couldn't record me leaving there, but now it's time to head inside and let the dogs out and put the skidoo away. 4.30 and this is the temperature we're sitting at today. It's negative 8 degrees Celsius, which is 17 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see on the bottom, we got the feels like this could be wrong, but who knows? We even got the moon out as you can see into the distance as well. It is getting pretty dark out really fast. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, make supper, and end my day. 
Okay, the flags are all tangled up. We got things to organize. We put the water trader back. We put the pallets back so then we can come through here with snow removal or whatever. Okay, let's scroll this way. The wind's getting up and it's going to get nasty. It's going down to minus 17 tonight. And where are the puppies? They're not there. Oh, well, as soon as you bring the camera out, they're usually around. And we got the pipe for the staff's house because she needs that chimney installed. We got delayed on that. Now we can put the hinges on the shop doors and open the doors. So look at all the space we got here. We parked the welding sleigh back a bit with the famous black cat. And over there, we got two wood totes. Yes, wood totes. Okay, I spent a half an hour pulling all the nails out of the two by sixes and now all this lumber can go back over to Trader 8 because we're not gonna need it. Because we're basically done the new shop extension except for the door hinges, just a minor detail. All right, so let's get hauling this stuff over and then we can call it a day and drink professionally. Oh, wait, we've been just day drinking today? Oh, well. Okay, once I pulled all the nails, I hauled all the lumber back to trailer eight. So I made numerous trips, but at my age, I need the exercise. And then these sheets of tin were in the old part of the shop and I'm not going to move them any more times. So I screw nailed them to the door. So now I know where they are. There's just a couple screws in holding them up. So now I know where they are. They're laying flat so I don't damage them. All right, let's go check on the flags. Okay, in case we're short on the video here to get the full 20 minutes so everybody gets a good nap. All right, so we'll include some stuff we did back in 2022 on this day. Okay, lunchtime in the kingdom and the flag exercise is still happy. I don't know how that's happening. Okay, so I'm getting everything ready for when the staff arrives out after lunch sober, I hope. We've been cutting pieces of wood. We're going to cut the hole in the roof for the uh, chimney. Yeah, I guess it'd be the chimney. Plus fill in that big hole in the side from the exhaust from the propane heater. Okay, to make a wood stove, we got a barrel and we have all the pipes off of... The other caboose that we had a wood stove in until we uh, switched more to our being a recording studio. Because a recording studio is more important than uh, going out in the bush and having fun, I guess. Okay. But we'll take this barrel and make it into a wood stove. I gave the other barrel away or the other wood stove the same size that went with these stove pipes for beer. I don't know what I was thinking. But the way I look at it, we're going to build a new and improved stove. Okay, the staff showed up sober, which is a good sign. And she's cleaning up the caboose here to get it ready so we can splash some paint around so it looks good in the YouTube videos. And, uh, oh, jeez, I better get going. The boss is coming. Okay, coffee time in the kingdom, and I got everything done outside. You can even see the little chimney pipe up here. Oh, I'm lost there with my finger. Okay, right there. Oh, got no talent today with these fingers. Oh, that's what the ladies say. Okay, but there, we got the chimney in and the hole in the wall patched here. I found some painted plywood that matches the same color, so that worked out good, so it all looks authentic. Okay, the staff was here and cleaned up a bit. She's just here long enough to clean and take my beer, so she said that's her wages for today. So now we got to clean up this mess and screw nail this plywood onto the wall here to cover up some boo-boos. We're trying to pick the painted plywood that we had in a geo shock or another shock because it's easier to paint over and less paint. So we got the chimney in and I like using the automotive uh, high temp silicone to seal everything because you got to remember this caboose is old and we've rebuilt it a couple of times but it is slated for a complete rebuild. But this is what we use here and of course we use our metalworking tools too over here. I don't know if I can find it here if I got enough talent. To smooth everything out, we're using the flapper disc on the grinder. So I'm a pretty good carpenter, eh? Okay, we did it. It's just about 7 o'clock on Sunday, but we splashed the paint everywhere on the back half of the caboose here. So put it on thick, make it look good, and we splash it everywhere. It'll take a couple of days for it to dry, but we got one more day of warm weather, and then the cold weather from Alberta is coming our way. And that's a surprise for everybody in the hose shack here. The $42,000 coffee table arrived this week, but we've been keeping it a secret because we'll do a full video explaining it. So Rod even sent some polish for the staff to polish it, and so we can enjoy it. But here it is here in the hose shack, nice and warm, so I'll thaw it out so the staff can start polishing it next week. All right, that's it for today. Gonna go walk the dogs and drink some beer. Talk to you later.
Okay, 5.30 on a Saturday. We're done for the day. We're still recovering from Black Friday. Yes, that was a good day. Oh, look at the stove go. So now we're gonna, this week we're going to do the hinges on the door. We have our wood all ready to go there. So, all right, let's scroll this way. It's dark tonight. There's no moon. Oh, wait, it's cloudy and everything. It's supposed to snow some more and get chilly tonight. All right, let's go. Let's go walk the dogs, drink some more beer, make a video, and we'll talk to you guys later.